Intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War, particularly in the defense sector, led to an arms race between both states to develop the most capable fighter jets, with each viewing the other as a pure competitor. Had the Cold War broken into a hot war in the late 1980s, eight fighter jets would have been at the forefront in the war effort. The capabilities of the eight most capable jets of the Cold War are listed in this video, so stay tuned and do not miss this. At number 8 is the MiG-25 Foxbat. The first prototype flew in 1964 and the aircraft entered service in 1970. It had an operational top speed of Mach 2.83, one of the fastest serially produced interceptor aircraft and the second fastest serially produced aircraft after the SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft and features a powerful radar and four air-to-air -air missiles. When first seen in reconnaissance photography, the large wing suggested an enormous and highly maneuverable fighter at a time when U.S. design theories were also evolving towards higher maneuverability due to combat performance in the Vietnam War. The appearance of the MiG-25 sparked serious concern in the West and prompted dramatic increases in performance for the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle then under development in the late 1960s. The capabilities of the MiG-25 were better understood by the West in 1976 when Soviet pilot Viktor Belenko defected in a MiG-25 to the United States via Japan. At number 7, we have the Panavia Tornado Air Defense variant. The Tornado ADV was designed to serve in the role of an interceptor against the threat of Soviet bombers rather than an air superiority fighter for engaging in prolonged air combat maneuvering with various types of enemy fighters. In order to perform its anti-bomber primary mission, it was equipped with long-range beyond visual-range missiles such as the Skyflash and later the AMRAAM. The aircraft also had the ability to stay aloft for longer periods and remain over the North Sea and Northern Atlantic in order to maintain its airborne patrol. The capability of its weapon systems was a dramatic improvement over its predecessors. Compared with the Phantom, the Tornado had greater acceleration, twice the range and loiter time and was more capable of operating from short austere airstrips. The Tornado also had the ability to share its radar and targeting information with other aircraft via JTID DS Link 16 and was one of the first aircraft to have a digital data bus used for the transmission of data between onboard computers. Number 6 is the MiG-29 or the Fulcrum. At the height of the Cold War, a Soviet response was necessary to avoid the possibility of a new American fighter gaining a serious technological advantage over existing Soviet fighters. Thus, the development of a new air superiority fighter became a priority. The MiG-29 filtered into frontline service with the Soviet Air Forces. While originally oriented towards combat against any enemy aircraft, many MiG-29s have been furnished as multi-role fighters capable of performing a number of different operations and are commonly outfitted to use a range of air-to-surface armaments and precision munitions. At number 5 is the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. The Tomcat was developed for the United States Navy's Naval Fighter Experimental Program after the collapse of the F-111B project. The F-14 was the first of the American teen series fighters which were designed incorporating air combat experience against MiG fighters during the Vietnam War. The F-14 had its first kills in U.S. Navy service on 19 August 1981 over the Gulf of Sidra in what is known as the Gulf of Sidra Incident. In the 1980s, F-14s were used as land-based interceptors by the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force during the Iran-Iraq War, where they saw combat against Iraqi warplanes. Iranian F-14s reportedly shot down at least 160 Iraqi aircraft during the war, while only 12 to 16 Tomcats were lost, at least half of these losses were due to accidents. At number 4 is General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. This is a single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force. Designed as an air superiority day fighter, it evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,600 aircraft have been built since production and was approved in 1976. 
the F-16's first air-to-air -air combat success was achieved by the Israeli Air Force over the Bekaa Valley on 28 April 1981 against a Syrian Mi-8 helicopter which was downed with cannon fire. The following year, during the 1980 Lebanon War, Israeli F-16s engaged Syrian aircraft in one of the largest air battles involving jet aircraft which began on 9 June and continued for two more days. Israeli Air Force F-16s were credited with 44 air-to-air -air kills during the conflict. Number 3 on the list is the Mikoyan MiG-31 or the, Fo the Foxhound, which is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat. Serial production of the MiG-31 began in 1979 and the MiG-31 entered operational service with the Soviet Air Defense Forces in 1981. It was the world's first aircraft with a phased array radar and is one of the only two aircraft in the world capable of independently firing long-range air-to-air missiles. The platform's sensors and engagement range exceeded the power of any fighter deployed by the U.S. Air Force and gave the Fox Sound a considerable edge while its unrivaled altitude and speed and allowed it to impart significant kinetic energy to its munitions, making them considerably more dangerous. Up next at number 2 is Sukhoi Su-27 or the Flanker. This is a Soviet-origin twin-engine supermaneuverable fighter aircraft designed by Sukhoi. It was intended as a direct competitor for the large United States fourth-generation fighters such as the Grumman F-14 Tomcat and F-15 Eagle with 3,530-kilometer range, heavy aircraft ordnance, sophisticated avionics and high maneuverability. The Su-27 entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1985. The primary role was long-range air defense against American SAC-B1B and B-52GH bombers, protecting the Soviet coast from aircraft carriers and flying long-range fighter escort for Soviet heavy bombers such as the Tu-95 Bear, Tu-22M Backfire and Tu-160 Blackjack. And now at number one spot is the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. This is an American twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter aircraft designed by McDonnell Douglas. Following reviews of proposals, the United States Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas's design in 1967 to meet the service's need for dedicated air superiority fighter. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It is among the most successful modern fighters with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat with the majority of the kills by the Israeli Air Force. The first kill by an F-15 was scored by Israeli Air Force as Moshe Melnik in 1979. During Israeli raids against Palestinian factions in Lebanon in 1979 to 1981, F-15As reportedly downed 13 Syrian MiG-21s and two Syrian MiG-25s. Israel was the only operator to use and develop the air-to-ground abilities of the air superiority F-15 variants, doing so because the fighter's range was well beyond other combat aircraft in the Israeli inventory in the 1980s. And that's it from the buzz for today. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.